Hidden away atop the mountain range of the Malayan Peninsula sits one of the best kept secrets of Mother Earth. A 130 million year old tropical rainforest undefiled and undeterred by the modernization of the outside world. One tribe, however, has managed to survive within its daunting borders despite its harsh living conditions. The Jahai, an indigenous people that have been here since the beginning of time, are managing to live off the land and are considered to be the wisdom keepers of the ancient secrets deep within the forest. These Dauti natives have maintained the tradition of hunting and gathering like their forefathers before them. Every new day is a cycle of growth and renewal, and their fight for survival in these modern times continue in this unique ecosystem. This is the Royal Balloon State Park. Welcome to the fourth Royal Bloom Scientific Expedition, um, which will take about 10 days, starting from 7 to the 17th of uh, September, which will invo involve about 215 uh, participants altogether, coming from nine universities, uh, two research institutions, two NGOs, and one private company. Uh, the, this expedition is supported by few supporting staff uh, coming from various government agencies, for, for, for instance like the um, health department, uh, police, uh, relay time and forestry department as well. So I hope this time we'll, we will get, uh, we'll discover more new features, uh, the flora, fauna, the fungi, small mammals um, and I hope uh, we will achieve what we anticipated. For 10 days, these scientists and scholars will be roughing it out at the Sungai Tiang and the Sungai Kaja base camps with only basic amenities. Three meals a day provided from a houseboat located between these two camps will be their only sustenance to endure the elements in their quest to find answers and solutions to the many questions of the scientific community. The local inhabitants are key to unlocking the treasures that are stored within this formidable bastion that time has forgotten. For what may be a 10-day grueling ordeal for the participants, to the Jahai, it is but part of their daily life to be at one with nature. Ah. 
Only with their help can the participants of this expedition hope to successfully penetrate to the very core of their existence. But yet, in 2015, the gatekeepers of the Royal Balloon still live without electricity, running water and basic amenities. Dr. Shamsul Sarip, a senior lecturer from University Putra, Malaysia, is here to give back to the Jahai. He aims to provide a renewable clean energy source that will benefit the natives and at the same time leave the pristine nature of the forest untouched. I have measure the stream flow rate and it is enough to power the turbine and uh, waters uh, from the uh, waterfall, divert it through the piping, goes to the micro hydro turbine and generate the sustainable energy to the nearest villages, Kampung Kaja. Each morning, a short briefing is held as the guides and organizers update their respective teams at the base camps on the events that had unfolded the day before. This is to ensure that information is disseminated to all groups, ensuring the safety of everyone in the expedition. The teams then break off and head out to their respective trails led by the native trekkers and guides. Actually, I expect to learn and uh, to get to understand the traditional knowledge and the what the orang asli around here use for daily life, for consumption, for medicine, anything else from their spiritual belief, uh, so that this um, knowledge will not disappear with uh, the generations. And also for us to be able to record um, this knowledge as well, uh, I mean, on their behalf. So in this uh, expedition, uh, we are focused on two main uh, Project. One will be on the inventory of the biodiversity of uh, macro fungi. So we need to focus on the mushroom, the one that we can see with the neck eyes and pick by hand. And the other one will be based on the ethnomycologist uh, knowledge, that uh, mushroom that used by the indigenous people that stay in this place, what they have used for medicine or food in their daily life. In this uh, expedition, in fact, we are looking at uh, plant or any other plant uh, uh, forest bioresources that can be used in our screening program looking for a uh, plant or any other resources that can be used as uh, agent that can uh, somehow improve for example uh, memory enhancement and also other uh, brain related diseases we are looking at either plant or even mushroom the basis of our selection is actually based on what we call it as the doctrine of uh, signature. Meaning to say that, you know, we are looking for plant which is actually having the shape of the brain that can uh, somehow guide us in terms of the selection of plant that can be taken and uh, collect and bring back to the lab for the analysis and so on. When we talk about the wild fruits, uh, we have ar around hundreds uh, of species in Malaysia. But uh, in Belum, uh, we're still documenting the, pros the diversity. As we all know, because the wild gingers is very important for the uh, orang asli and also for the peoples uh, living surrounding this area. And uh, because the wild gingers and also some species, species of the wild fruits, they have the uh, medicinal properties. Out of the confines of the lecture halls and laboratories, the scientists are at the mercy of Mother Nature and her elements. From rough terrain, thick undergrowth and blood-sucking leeches, the royal balloon does not discriminate. 
These are but some of the challenges faced by the participants. Nevertheless, the passion for knowledge pushes them on through mile after mile of findings and discoveries. One such passionate academician is Professor Dr. Ilham Adnan from UITM Puncha Alam, whose research into the doctrine of signatures has led him to join in on this expedition. The doctrine dates back to a 1st century Greek physician and botanist, Dioscorides, who coined the term in his five volume book, De Materia Medica, that went on to be referenced for 1500 years. So one thing about this thing, if you look at the shape for example, this is actually based on the so-called uh, doctrine of uh, signature. Meaning to say that we are actually basing our so-called selection based on the morphology of the tree, which is actually having the uh, so-called uh, connection to the brain. So that is the guiding principle of the nature that we have at the moment to guide us to do the selection of plant, which is actually specific to the uh, brain function activities and so on. So I thought this is only an ubi. So ubi to me is, is, is normal ubi. Putih, starch and so yeah, on. Starch. But suddenly, when I just uh, potong, eh, it doesn't look like like normal ubi, merah. So maybe like I said, I'm talking about tadi uh, bayam uh, for anemia, those yang yeah, kurang blood. So maybe I just uh, rebus this one and take it. Then it so happened that I kena apa tu bitten by uh, pacat. Uh. So darah keluar. Uh. So I just ambil, I just uh, stick okay. it to it. They, they, they stop the, bleed, the bleeding. Along the way, samples and specimens are collected. Some are observed, photographed and left untouched with the intent of revisiting in the future. Okay, collect. Collect. Those that are taken are then brought back to the base camp, processed according to the requirements and nature of study. Ranging from the simple pressing to the culturing of fungi and the dissection of fishes for signs of parasites. Work done here is only the preparation for further analysis and study back in their respective institutions. The generation of a huge amount of new and useful data is expected. We are now in the midway of the expeditions and during the initial uh, part of the expedition we found the very interesting findings and we hope that we get more uh, to the second half of the expeditions. It is very heartening to see professors and doctors trampling through mud and wading in streams with their graduate students looking for the much needed samples. From the high-tech electric fish stunners to the very basic line and bait, the participants devise and strategize their daily excursions into the forest. It is also encouraging to see experienced field researchers passing on what they have learned to their younger counterparts. This passing on of the torch provides for a kind of knowledge transfer that cannot be taught within the four walls of a lecture hall. Dan setakat yang diketahui hanya sedikit saja baru kita ditemui dan masih banyak lagi benda-benda yang masih perlu di uh, dicari atau di dikaji dan khususnya terutama kepada pegawai-pegawai yang uh, baru dan juga yang yang berkecimpung dalam bidang uh, botani dan juga apa tumbuh-tumbuhan. Makan, gulai lemak. Makan, gulai lemak kunyit. Masak dengan apa lagi? Masak dengan lemak lah, kunyit, campur kunyit. Ada sayur lain. Ada sayur lain campur. Ikan bilis tak ada? Ikan bilis ada, cukup juga. Ikan bilis, jamur. Oh, 
Dia ada boleh campur dengan daging tak? Kalau hmm. cendawan. Tak ada, tak boleh. Tak boleh eh. Hmm. Pantanglah. Pantang je nak apa tu kunyit saja. Kunyit je lah. Hmm. Belai lemak saja. Nama apa? Hmm. Kalau itu kola itu sempal tebu. Sempal tebu. tebu. Uh, we managed to trail up to about 400 uh, meter above the sea level. Uh, Alhamdulillah managed to collect a uh, few samples. I think about 30 sample. So what we are going to do is to bring back to the lab and uh, we will uh, uh, process the sample and we'll do the analyze. Uh, we will analyze the sample in the lab and hopefully we can uh, report back to you in terms of the activity in a very new feature related to, related to the uh, brain function and uh, brain memory and so on. Yang ini kita akan tanam. Yang ini uh, tempunik ataupun buah jas. Di pasar panggil buah jas. Yang ini lengkuas kutan. Lengkuas ini kita akan tanam. Not all the groups go home with a treasure trove. The team of geologists from University of Malaysia Kelantan has come to a dead end. Uh, malangnya kami cuba mengambil uh, sampel tapi tidak boleh uh, tidak berjaya untuk memecahkan uh, batuan ni sebab uh, mungkin alat yang kurang sesuai. Jadi untuk masa akan datang mungkin kami akan datang dengan uh, equipment yang lebih sesuai lah untuk mendapatkan sampel conglomerate ni. But in science Every step in the wrong direction offers the excitement and promises of unopened doors waiting to be found. Sepanjang trail, uh, kami menjumpai uh, beberapa jenis batuan, iaitu batuan igneous, uh, seperti granite, porphyritic granite, dan kemudian batuan metamorphic seperti schist. Um, sebenarnya kami uh, ingin mencari batuan uh, sedimentary Tapi kami gagal menyumpai batuan sedimentary sepanjang trail ini Kerana batuan sedimentary akan menggambarkan uh, umur uh, sebenar hutan royal belum ini Sebab batuan sedimentary berkemungkinan mempunyai fosil dan sebagainya Jadi umur boleh dikaitkan terus dengan batuan sedimentary And as the expedition draws to a close, the teams head back to their respective institutions where they will then move into the next phase in unlocking the secrets of the royal balloon. It again returns to its dormant state, to what it had been 130 million years ago. Okay, for the past few days, uh, we meet of people, a lot of people, uh, the scientists, the scholars, as a guide, we take them out for their research and actually I learned a lot. This is the last day of the scientific expedition. We had some fun but at the same time it was challenging and interesting. Um, throughout the 10 day of, of expedition, we have collected a big uh, amount of uh, specimens, whether it is uh, flora, fauna, or including the fungi, the ginger, mushroom.